Hello out there and welcome to English Teaching Plays. We're here with Drill Deal Oil Tycoon, which is a new game. It's on Steam and full disclosure, I did receive my copy of the game for free and we're gonna we're gonna crack into it. I guess we're gonna do the tutorial. Let's learn to play. Welcome to Drill Deal. Use WASD to move and rotate the camera. Okay, got it. What am I? All right. Welcome to the tutorial. You can pause the game by clicking pause or space keys. Okay. You already have a drill in the center um, of your platform. The drill bit is used to extract oil and gas from the ocean floor. To earn crude oil, you need to refine it, build a new refinery. Okay. Build a refinery in the marked spaces. Remember that buildings cost money and require building blocks. You can rotate the building by right clicking. Where's the marked area? Oh, okay, there we go. Oops. There we go, we did it. Most buildings need workers to assign an employee to the refinery, click on the refinery building. Okay. John Dwayne is already working at the drill. All right. Um. Better skilled workers work faster, reducing production time. Clint Westwood. Nice. As you can, Clint Westwood is working and producing gasoline and fuel from the crude oil. All right. Most production buildings, especially after being upgraded, can change their production modes. All right. Buildings on like work day and night. To achieve maximum, you need to add another employee to the night shift. Okay. You can increase the level of your oil platform. All right. Platform level. All right, so we're going to build a food container. Fair enough. Food ingredients and meals are stored in the same container. All right, thanks. Is an, uh, platform level is now two. In the tooltip, you can see how many points you need to reach the next level. We need 800, all right. Gain a reputation. A higher reputation increases your earnings by increasing the selling prices of your products. I like the animals that are swimming around, as if uh, this isn't hugely um, damaging to their ecosystem. <laughs> uh, look, the storage space for food ingredients has increased. Some buildings placed next to the others can give them a bonus. All right. Build a second food container in the marked spaces. All right. To capacity or efficiency, open the food container panel. Where is that? You just click on it. Okay. Of the same type built next to each other, get a capacity bonus. Each of these containers has increased its capacity by 20%. Okay. Got it. There are different types of bonuses that you will discover as you play the game. Most production buildings will receive a performance bonus if a container of the resources built near them. Right. An example of another building that gives its neighbors a bonus is the electric generator. All right. Got it. Connectors and pipes can be used to get a bonus when buildings are spaced far apart. Right. Or right, so you can connect them using pipes. Jason buildings can have negative impact on each other. Yep, that makes sense. They don't like living next to noisy stuff. That makes sense. The range of emitted noise can be tra checked by hovering the cursor over the appropriate icon. Um, here you can see your income. Time to let's make money with contracts. Let's do it. Such orders change at dawn. Sell some crude oil using a quick order. Yep, I do. Contracts are the main source of income. Signing the contract means that a ship will arrive each morning to collect the resources specified. Right. Just a slider to accept another a new contract. Are you sure you want to sell one crude for 20? Yeah, great. So our income is positive now. Okay. Um, you'll need new contracts for new products. Open the clients panel to purchase new contracts. 
I'm gonna fast forward till we get to the actual gameplay, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Okay, so we've done the tutorial now and now we're going to flourish in the sea by destroying mines and opening up our, our new platform. Destroy all mines, build platform, hire 15 employees. Excellent. Build more buildings to raise your platform level and hire employees. To hire more employees, you need more bedrooms. Build a defensive gun and destroy all the mines. Got it. Alright, so we can so we can pause the game. So there, where was the speed at? Is it paused? Okay. So games like this that are all real time and stuff, I'm just like, ah, very annoying. So what we're going to do first is we're going to build some basic employee quarters. Um, I guess we're going to, we're going to put them, oh, I keep doing that. I don't, I don't mean to keep doing that. Okay. Oh, oh there's a, there's a destroyed ship over there. Okay, we need a buffet, which we can totally do, and we need a small kitchen. Thanks, alright, so we got a level 2 platform, nice. Alright, what else do we need? We need a small gas generator. Put it here, oops, whatever. It's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. Can we move it? Yeah, all right, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Small gas generator, how much did it cost? So we lost half of our stuff there. That's fine. That is totally fine, team. So those are the pipes and stuff that it was talking about, but didn't teach us how to use. It's okay. But we need some food containers. Nice. We can do that. Oh, why can't we build another one? All right, so now we need some employees. Oh wow, their salary is much higher than uh, in the other one. Oh, the, where was the thing to sell contracts? I totally got lost. Um, amount of missing basic buildings. It's good to have a workshop and entertainment. Okay. Contracts. Deal, yep. So what are we making? I don't I don't know how much we're making. Alright, so what do we What's the problem here? Uses gas. Why can't I pause this? Pause. I so said we we weren't paused there. Okay, so it needs gas. All right, day shift. We've got no workers. All right, let's hire some workers, team. Okay. Sure, so he runs the drill really well. Excellent. He's good at entertainment. This guy's okay at a bunch of things. We are just losing money hand over fist. All right, let's go day shift. Jake Baker, there we go. All 
So, it didn't really explain how that works, but that's okay. Timothy Parker can go there. Um, buffet. Someone needs to work the kitchen. There we go. Okay, so let's unpause it. There we go. So we've hired some people. And we're losing a bunch, a bunch of money. We don't have any, we don't have any gas. Because it's nighttime. Right, we're doing very poorly. But that's okay. We, we can be doing poorly, it's okay. So, how do we get more building blocks? Uh, there was something that explained that, I remember. Right, we need... Oh, I remember I remember this. I remember this bit. Oop, that's too much. Confirm. Send us... Send us our ship, please, of stuff. And where was the... Where was the destroying thing? The shooty, the shooty bang bang. Where is that at? Defensive turret. All oh, right, I've got to get the technology first. Oh, they're here to pick up their stuff. Right. Okay. So people are doing work now. Good. Good. Um. Uh, we don't have sulfur. Solid fuel. I don't. I don't know how to make any of this stuff, guys. So let's. Let's just slow it way down. What is that? Improving reputations means more available contracts. All right, are we are we do are we making things? So what's the what's the problem here? This building needs more power. Okay. So if we build some more power, there we go. So we've reached level three. Whatever that means okay so are we are we generating gas now is that why does this building still need more power I don't okay let's what are we what are we missing to build this this is very confusing you know what I'm gonna start this over and uh, I'll try again I'm gonna fast forward <laughs> Okay, so the game is really hard. Um, I keep running into situations where I just don't think I can get out of them. I like need to be making gas, but I need... I don't know, man. Maybe I'm trying to go too quickly. I, I really am not sure what I'm doing wrong, but something... I'm doing something wrong, and I'm sure I'll figure it out. It's very complex. It's interesting. 
The game is very cool. Let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself because all I'm doing here is just banging my head against the wall. Um, and it's like, I know there's a way to do this. I just haven't quite figured it out yet. So let's go look at the description. All right, Drill Deal, Oil Tycoon. Drill Deal is a fun oil business simulator. Start from a single tiny rig and expand it to a large complex of connected platforms. Optimize and grow your business. Look out for threats like weather, terrorists, fire, and others. Take care of your working crews. Um, it comes out in five hours, fantastic. Um, in Drill Deal, Oil Tycoon, the extraction of oil is represented in a way that highlights the challenges faced on an offshore platform, which include nature, pirates, and of course, the entire operational cost. Despite its simple appearance, Drill Deal, Oil Tycoon is not an easy game. In, in fact, it's very, very, very hard. Um, its premise includes profit maximization and productivity mechanics, something that takes a while for the player to master between the dangers of the high seas and an ever-increasing demand for oil, it will be up to you to decide the best approach to achieve maximum efficiency without breaking money. Right. Yeah, it's very hard. The game is very, very difficult. Um, I'm sure I'll figure it out. And I'm going to try. I am going to try and figure it out. I didn't. I hadn't figured it out yet. Um, but it's it's pretty cool. So this is A2 Softworks. So they've made a few other games. So they made a game called Lovecraft Tales. Right? So, you know, all that Cthulhu monster, squid faces and stuff like that. Um, Gatewalkers. What is Gatewalkers? Action, RPG, RPG, survival, online co-op. Okay. So they've got a few games. They've got a few games. So Drill Deal Oil Tycoon is pretty fun. Um, it's colorful. Uh, the, the strategy is very deep, I think. Um, I didn't, I couldn't quite get there. Sometimes you run into these games and the strategy is just like, do this, do this, and then you've got it solved. This one I'm like, man, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's way more stuff going on than I had anticipated. Um, and it's hard. The game is hard, man. The game is really hard. So, uh, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you do want to check out this game. Click on that link in the description. You can play the demo for free. Or you can pick up the game. I'm not sure how much it's going to cost. My guess would be $24 or 20 bucks US. That's my that's my stab in the dark at the cost. Actually, we can probably guess based on the prices of their other games. Um, Lovecraft. Why does it not? Why does it not have the prices? Why does it not have the prices? Lists. Right. It, it just doesn't have the. That's so annoying. And they've got another game. Why do they have other games on? Ugh, it's so annoying. That's fine. So this one isn't out yet. Okay. So they've got some other other games that aren't out yet. Right. So they got, they got a few games on the go. And the only ones that they've got that they have released so far are free to play. That's interesting. Interesting. So, sorry I lied. The first time I go to check and compare to what they're charging for other things, um, it's just not there. So, that's Drill Deal Oil Tycoon. I will see you guys next time. And class dismissed.